Hi folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today I bring you a master of the universe and his faithful cat that fights. Getting on some, some, some trademark infringement here. So this is him, he. Him, he. Him, man. And uh, fight cat. No, uh, Lego He-Man and Battle Cat. Let's get a look here. Uh, I made this a while back. I wanted to do a He-Man line. Um, so, Battle Cat, one of my favorites. Um, I still have all of my He-Man figures, my Grey Skull, my Snake Mountain. Um, super into it. <laughs> Let's get me out of the way and I'll show you some posability. So I have a little mock he man here. Um, super minimal. I got a shield, a sword, kind of chest armor, dirty blonde hair. It works. But Battle Cat, that is the main attraction here today. Um, so you'll notice for the saddle, whoa! Uh, I got a little out there, and I decided to craft, Let's see if I can take it off here, yeah, uh, stay on there, Battle Cat, the head doesn't really hold very well, but nonetheless, so yeah, that is a three-wheeler motorcycle piece that I then worked into the torso of Battle Cat, I wanted to get that really good... Battle Cat uh, saddle shape um, to attach the arms on the front I actually have a Travis brick as the shoulder and uh, in case you didn't know this um, these things are great to build off of like the the Star Wars speeder bike is one of these and I think regular way um, but yeah you just take your Travis brick and put it over the bit there and it acts as a great sort of shoulder joint so that you can even get uh, an almost ball joint angle from and then for the back section I just used one of those little sort of up bars and a couple of uh, headlight bricks underneath it ah. But that holds in the rear end so that he has this nice sort of waist pivot. And then the tail has an up and down motion as well as a side to side from uh, one of those little slidey elbow bits. So yeah, tail up and down, open up, close up, rear legs at the hip and at the ankle front legs at the shoulder um, a sort of elbow from plate for or from stud friction and then an ankle as well and then the head we're gonna pull that off check that out um, now I made some changes but this head is loosely based on the design that oh what's his name Hobsimist from Flickr, uh, an incredible uh, mocker that I follow. Um, he did a Battle Cat as well, but his scale was a little off. Great build, but uh, scale for me is a big deal. Um, so with my Battle Cat here, I wanted him to be not terribly more than uh, the actual scale that he would be in relation to He-Man. But, uh, yeah, a little build today. Um, I finally started unpacking boxes, so I'm going through some old stuff. That's why I, where I ended up with uh, finding, coming across my Battle Cat and He-Man. Um, but a few other uh, neat little gems that I had forgotten about. Um, so we'll peruse a few of those, uh, and then we'll get back into it. That's going to give me time to work on Razor, uh, which is the closest to current mod that I'm working on. Uh, like I said in a, in a video or so ago, 
Um, he's got some design issues I didn't realize until I attempted to shoot a video and found out that you cannot transform him as long as the camera's playing. But nonetheless, um, so thanks for watching, folks. This has been uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man, bricking it up with Synthetic Mason. Thanks as always.